Hey guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'll be showing you how to apply compression to your drum bus. This compression should act like a glue to solidify the kit and also enhance the rhythm of it. You can basically use whatever compressor you want for this. I'm just using the Platinum Digital Stock Compressor for Logic. If you want to use something with a little bit more colour, that's fine too, but either works fine. I've applied this compression to my drum bus or drum stack, as you see here, just after a little bit of EQ, but before most processing. I find that the best way to apply this type of compression is to start with a lot of gain reduction, ease off the settings, and then adjust it to taste. To do this, we're going to start with a four to one ratio, have a long attack around 150 milliseconds or so, have an instant release. We also want a hard knee so we can really hear this compression. Now we're going to hit play and adjust the threshold to get between minus 10 and minus 15 dB in gain reduction. Once you've achieved this, adjust the settings starting with the attack. Bring the attack down until the transients start to sound a little dull and then back off it a bit. Listen. I can hear in particular the kick is starting to lose its punch at around 50 milliseconds, so I'm going to ease it back off to 60 milliseconds. You'll hear this more and more the more you go down, so you definitely want to be easy on the attack, don't make it too quick. Next, adjust your ratio. If you want a harder compression, go with 4 or 5 to 1, and if you want it softer, go for 3 or even 2 to 1. I actually preferred the two to one ratio for this. I found that five to one especially was way too hard, even four to one, but the two just compresses it very nicely without losing any of that punch. You can also adjust the knee as sometimes a medium knee can work quite well, depending on the sound. For drums, a hard knee works most of the time, but it's still worth comparing the two. Okay, the soft knee here is actually really killing those transients as it's compressing it before it reaches that threshold. I could adjust the attack, but I think the hard knee is just going to work the best here. Next, we adjust the threshold to have around minus 2 dB of gain reduction. You don't need a lot because this is just acting like the glue that sticks the drums together, and chances are you have other compressors working within the kit and you don't want to over compress it. Lastly, we want to time the release so our needle is resetting to zero in time with the song. There's no real point in doing it sooner as it won't take nearly as long for the compressor to reach zero from our new threshold as it did from minus 40 dB that we had to begin with. Some compressors have a beat match function built in, but I like doing it without it regardless. You just want the needle to reset in time with the song. So in this instance, the kick is clearly the loudest part and it's hitting on every quarter note. So I want to reset it per kick hit. Of course, a kicks pattern won't always be four on the floor like this, but you can always put the metronome on to time it like that instead. Okay, so it's looking at about 160 milliseconds at this BPM. By timing the release, it really helps to enhance the rhythm of the song. And last of all, we just want to apply our makeup gain. We are getting 2 dB of reduction before, so now we'll add another 2 dB. Applying a bus compression like this to your drums is a really good way of gluing them together to make them sound like one full kit and it's also really good for helping to enhance the rhythm and the feeling of those drums. I hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching, cheers.